Hello again, welcome back to another video. This one is a follow up to the Zorky 4K video and in this one we're just going to go through how to load and unload um, the 35mm film. Um, in the earlier film that I made about the camera I didn't cover the unloading and it's quite important because it's quite different on this camera. When we're going to load the film, as I said in the other video, make sure that the red, the black and the two black dots are all these are all in line put the camera on its nose to open the back you use, undo these two retaining clips and the whole back will just be removable take your roll of 35 millimeter film place it in this side in such a position that it goes across the uh, the film guides. This is your multi slotted take up spool. Uh, if I can zoom in on that, there yeah, you can see the take up spool. So you slot that into there. And make sure that those line up with the sprocket holes, and then you can wind the camera on. And you'll see the film has been snagged and has been wound on. And you want to make sure that these sprocket holes are in line here so the film is nice and level like so once you got to that stage you want to try and get the film nice and flat so if you pull up on this part and then if you gently wind it you can tighten the film up so that this sits quite tightly across like so when you've got it to that stage, you can replace the back. Let me zoom back out again. You can replace the back gently. Lock the back so it's closed. The back won't come off now. And then you can wind on. So that's three. And then you can set your frame counter back to zero which is just there if you want to focus you can see the little arrow and that points to zero so you take your your images you shoot up your 20 36 12 or whatever images like so you come to the end of the film and then you want to rewind it so this is the rewind crank but if you just turn it it's very very tight because the film is, is still in the forward position there is no button to push on the bottom of the camera what you have to do is, is to turn this collar so that it's in this position and what that does this film is only a test film but you wouldn't actually do this it unlocks this sprocket drive if I take the back off for purposes to demonstrate to you, don't actually do this when you've got a film in here because you'll fog it. Um, I'll take the back off. When this is in the position that I just put it in, so when this is in that position there, that will free this up so that then it can turn back the other way. If I zoom in again on that, you can see now it is turning that way. If it's in this position where they're all in line you won't be able to turn it it's what unlocks that so you want to turn that part and then you can see the film you obviously you do this with the back on you don't do it like i'm doing it here and then you rewind the film back into the cassette there you go and you can hear it when it comes off so you can either leave it out or you can wind it all the way back in so that is how you load and unload the Zorky 4K. I didn't really cover that in the other video and it's probably the most important thing that I did miss. The position of this thing. So when you unloaded the camera, just put this back into the, so it's all in line position. So that's for loading and using the camera. That's for unloading the camera. The other bit I missed is on this lever here, you'll see there's a dot here. This is for X synchronization. 
and then you also find that this this moves you can turn this around and then it will give you um, M synchronization which is for use with bolts so focus see there's M there and there's X on the other side over there so that's how you select which flash you want to use to be fair most people it's going to be set on X which is electronic flash so this will focus again you just set the X to it so that's another part that I missed on the earlier video well, I think that just about covers it so that's how you load and unload more importantly unload because I didn't really cover that the Zorky 4k thanks for watching I hope that didn't cause any confusion comments question queries down below like subscribe comment etc and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one